you could do a lot worse. You know, you're kind of squeamish for such a lethal person. I think you still have no idea the effect you can have. It crosses my mind that Sinna's calm and normal demeanor masks a complete madman. But collective thinking is usually short-lived. We're fickle, stupid beings with poor memories and a great gift for self-destruction. Technically, I am unarmed, but no one should ever underestimate the harm that fingernails can do, especially if the target is unprepared. He's dozed off again, but I kiss him awake, which seems to startle him. Then he smiles as if he'd be happy to lie there gazing at me forever. And then he gives me a smile that just seems so genuinely sweet, with just the right touch of shyness, that unexpected warmth rushes through me. Who were all these people hanging around on a weekday at the zoo? Didn't they have jobs? Shouldn't the children be in school? No wonder the country was such a mess. I can feel Peter press his forehead into my temple, and he asks, So now that you've got me, what are you going to do with me? I turn into him. Put you somewhere you can't get hurt. The raw hunk of meat that used to be my enemy makes a sound, and I know where the mouth is. And I think the word he's trying to say is please. Pity, not vengeance, sends my arrow flying into his skull. Corio was a nickname for old friends, for family, for people Coriolanus loved. And this was the moment Sejanus decided to try it out. If he'd had the energy, Coriolanus would have reached over and strangled him. <laughs>